Hey guys, welcome to Your Extreme Life, Chatham Kent, joining the drive to make Chatham Kent the healthiest community in Canada. I'm Dr. Jamie Richards from the Life by Design Center here in Blenheim, Ontario, and I'm with my business partner, Dr. Steve Barati. Steve, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, Jamie. It's good to be back. Yeah, two weeks in a row. We're in the groove. I'm excited. Today we're talking about headaches. Mm. Can you help with is the theme we've been repeating. It's a question we get over and over again in our practice inside of our group. Uh, you know, and again, if you're looking to make contact with us, we're everywhere on social media. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, YouTube. I know I get a lot of people who say, I was uh, watching YouTube the other day and you just popped up on the screen. I know. Yeah, we've had that quite a bit actually. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that idea of just being omnipresent and available for people and somebody had mentioned how simple we had made it for them just to click the button and go to a page and, you know, they put their name and email, phone number and all of a sudden, you know, we were in contact and within a week they had scheduled a time to meet and, you know, yeah, it's just, we want to make it simple for you in order to get healthier and if accessing the Life by Design Blueprint is one of those things that sounds like it could help you, then yeah, you'll find all the links below here depending on where you're watching this, seeing this, if it's YouTube or listening to it on the podcast. So the question we get, Steve, is can you help with, and today we're inserting in the can you help with, headaches. Yeah, headaches. Exactly. So why don't we start with, uh, you know, headaches, different types of headaches, and we'll go from there. Absolutely. So yeah, headaches come in many different shapes and sizes, right? So there can be things such as migraines, right? Sure. Migraines I think when is, people think headaches, that's what they think about. Yes. Yeah. And I think there's a very important distinction that needs to be made sure. when we are talking about things like migraines. What's commonly happening with migraines is, you know, people will start to have potentially hallucinations. It's what's called an aura. Mm -hmm. So they'll see things, they'll potentially hear different things like that. And it almost feels as though, you know, there's this vice script that's mm -hmm. just compressing uh, the sides of your head. Right. And so uh, that in and of itself, I mean, they're, they're a real thing. It's a real possibility. Sure. But the majority of people who are actually suffering from what they think are migraines are more commonly what we would refer to as potentially tension headaches. Yeah. Uh, you may have heard of cervicogenic headaches, and we'll talk a little bit more right. about what those are and some important distinctions sure. there. I think a lot of the the structures in the upper region in the head, the cervical area, the brain obviously is included in this. All of those play a role. And there's also probably some crossover between them. And I don't think they're as clear cut. At the end of the day, the solution, at least the starting place for a lot of these is similar. So the good news is the blueprint, which we'll be repeating over and over again, this Life by Design blueprint, addresses a lot of the fundamental requirements that tend to have a big impact on headaches. I mean, if you look at the 4,000 plus cases that we've had now in our practice, mm -hmm. I would guess probably anywhere from 10 to 20% headaches were the primary reason that brought that patient in. And in the vast majority of those cases, although you know our purpose is not necessarily to treat quote unquote the headache, it's to restore structure and improve neurological function, 95% plus had an improvement in their symptomatic picture, mm -hmm. as well as a host of other improvements that tend to happen when you deal with these underlying structural problems. So let's talk mostly today about cervicogenic headaches because they make up a large portion of the types of headaches that people get. Cervicogenic means generated from the cervical spine. Mm -hmm. Which is the neck. Which is the neck. You mm -hmm. got it. And I think a lot of people don't make that relationship simply because you may feel the headache in your head. Hence the term headache. So you've got this throbbing. Uh, there's different patterns that it can take. But really, when it comes down to it, the vast majority is cervicogenic. So meaning the primary source of that pain generator is from the neck. And the other, I think, interesting take home here is that the vast majority of these cases, there's no pathological identifiable cause. Now, it doesn't mean there's not a cause. It just means for most people... When they think about, I need to figure out if I have a headache and, and why it's being caused, they'll go get testing done, medical testing, which is great. No issue with that. But you're probably not going to see anything specifically on an MRI or a CT scan. It's not, you know, caused by a, a brain tumor or a lesion, you know, pressing on the spinal cord. The vast majority of the time, it's functional and structural and that blend together. Absolutely. And one of the things that we'll commonly see is some type of postural or anterior spinal distortion that's very present in the majority of these cases. And that's often, you know, undetected by mm -hmm. many different people. They don't really know they have this type of structural problem right. until they go through a testing process. Right. 
Um, well, let's talk about structure and posture because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people do blend those two together and they say, well, you know, I have a posture problem and there's lots of practitioners that deal with posture and I think that's fantastic. But there is a significant difference between a posture problem and a structure problem. So a posture problem is, you know, if I said, hey, Steve, just sit up tall and you can fix that. I mean, that's a good chance that primarily there's a postural problem that could be due to weakening, could be, you know, just immobility. But then a structural problem, you know, if we had an anterior distortion of the spine and I said, Steve, sit up taller and he was restricted in doing that in some way. If you're watching the podcast on YouTube, you'll see what Steve's doing here. Uh, you know, you structurally can't actually correct that or self-correct that. So I think differentiating between structure and posture is a big one. And of course, if you correct a structural problem, you're likely going to have a visible improvement in posture. But correcting a posture problem doesn't necessarily mean you'll have an improvement in structure. And that's probably a whole other podcast that I, yeah, you know, we I can so. dig into and Absolutely. cover. So, you know, again, on our end, it's really measuring, is there an underlying neurological issue? So let's talk about the nervous system, Steve. Uh, it's very wired up in here. Mm -hmm. What does the nervous system have to do with headaches? Uh, specifically speaking, I mean, when we think about the nervous system, uh, there's a lot of sensory input and output that comes from the nervous system. And a lot of that sensory processing is very present in the top of your spine, especially right. in the brain regions. Right. And there's certain areas of the brain that can actually perceive things such as, you know, how a headache is going to present itself. Right. Right. And so, you know, we talk about these things called nociceptors. Yep. Right. And so if you want to talk a little bit. Sure. More. I mean, the, without getting too complex here with the nervous system, uh, just think of yourself as a wired up house. So you've got all these cords and everything's running through and there's this communication system happening from the brain to the body and the body to the brain and the structure or the spine uh, tends to uh, primarily protect that. And housed inside of that, inside the joints of the spine are two major receptors. One is a mechanoreceptor, which dictates and sends information to the brain about movement. Uh, you have some proprioception there. And then you have nociceptors, which is, you, know, you might think of them as pain receptors, but they're more telling your body about toxic information, improper, um, unhealthy information. So what's really unique here, and, and a lot of people say, well, you know, I don't have uh, headaches, but you did all the tests and I have this problem. Right. It doesn't necessarily mean just because you have a problem that you're going to have a particular uh, outcome like a headache. Nociception means there's an underlying problem, but it can present in hundreds and hundreds of different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, and how your brain interprets that problem is different based on different cases. And that's why one person, uh, and let's say their partner, you know, a lot of times we'll see and you'll do the test and go, wow, our problems look the same, but their symptomatic expression is completely different. How they perceive it, absolutely. You got it. So pain... Uh, another podcast probably is perceived in the brain. Pain is not something that you physically feel. It's actually a perception. It doesn't mean it's not real and doesn't mean that damaged tissue isn't real. Just how you interpret that damaged tissue is um, heavily uh, a portion of what you feel. And there's lots of other factors as well. So let's jump ahead and let's talk about some of the action steps you can take. There's some small steps that I think are great at patching things up and it doesn't mean they're not valuable and sometimes a headache can be caused by the lack of one of these things like hydration absolutely water intake is a really really common one i think mm -hmm. it's something like three quarters of people are dehydrated yeah and so they don't, just, just don't in have, general yeah exactly yeah. exactly and so you know i'd say that should be your kind of first step is make sure you're getting enough water yep. that's a really easy one easy to apply low-hanging fruit right well, and i think let's talk about you know in the sense of let's say somebody has a headache you know we so go ahead, sure, you should solve the underlying problem. Uh, and that's where biostructural testing uh, really comes in is getting some actual diagnostic testing to see if there's an underlying structural neurological problem. Great, you can do that. Uh, we can meet, you can follow the links, all that stuff. But let's say somebody has a headache right now. Uh, sure, if they are under our care, one of the things we would advise is, you know, if you don't already have a biostructural checkup scheduled, then schedule one right away. We can analyze the spine and nervous system, make any corrections, and at least remove that particular problem yeah. and make sure that irritant is gone. But now let's say somebody is not a patient in our practice or is experiencing a headache right now. Hydration, yes. as you said, uh, we like to add salt to our water. Most people not only are dehydrated, 
but they're low and deficient in electrolytes. And I know that sounds crazy to people to add salt when salt is something that people assume is bad for you. Another podcast. Let's keep yeah, yeah. creating this list as we go. Uh, sleep and rest. That's a big one. That's a big one. Take a nap, right? In many cases, you know, your headaches could potentially be resolved or at least get that edge taken off mm. just by, you know, upping your sleep. That's right. And so the mechanism here, if you're wondering, is it's very much stress related. Uh, stress not necessarily being the cause because, you know, Steve and I could have the same stresses but have different effects. Mm -hmm. It's how stress interacts with your current health level. So, you know, again, the, the focus shouldn't be to de-stress your life because, I mean, I think that's unrealistic. The focus should be to increase your body's ability to adapt to stress. Mm -hmm. And so if your bucket's already too full, meaning your body can't manage it, then, yeah, you're going to have a spillover. So things like rest, sleep, hydration, exercise, and movement. Those are still great things. I mean, when you have a headache, you know, you're not always thinking I need to go and work out and do heavy lifting. And yes, that might be uncomfortable, but breaking a sweat, doing some conditioning, going for a vigorous walk, those things uh, tend to have stress relieving effects. Absolutely. And then they can help you manage some of that least pain and inflammation that are yeah. happening. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard of things like endorphins, right? Endorphins right. are commonly released when we exercise. Um, my personal favorite, strength training. Right? doing some form of exercise or even something as simple as going outside for a walk. I think sure. even getting some fresh air, uh, that can be valuable yeah. as well. And when we look at the blueprint, the last couple is paying some attention to uh, nutrition. So things that could be food toxins for you that could trigger headaches. Yes, cervicogenic and tension are the primary ones. But you still want to rule out some of these other potential triggers. I will talk on more and more of these podcasts about what our blueprint is for eating, but Real foods, whole foods, no processed foods uh, with a focus on eating when you're hungry and eating mostly protein. Now, I probably opened up a Pandora's box there that we'll cover on future episodes, but you start to get the idea of piecing this together. And then, you know, as we kind of bring this to a close here, Steve, I think what I want to leave our listeners with is, yes, if you're in an acute state and you have a headache, there's things you need to do. And I'm not saying that there's not a time and a place for medication. I get it. Just... I would say that if you're repetitively using medication in order to solve this problem, recognize you're not actually solving the problem, you're patching it up. Yeah. And while you may need that to manage your day, uh, at some point it would make sense to dig a little deeper and see if you can't deal with the underlying well, major issue. There's, there's another type of headache, I'll just squeeze it in here, but a, a rebound headache. And um, that's a pathological form of headache where if you're taking too much medication, mm. things like Tylenol, ibuprofen, you're actually going to, as you you know, start taking this medication right. more and more, right? You're actually going to reduce its effects, and it's going to actually create the headache. The thing right. that you're trying to take to stop it could actually also be causing the problem right. as well. And so, great. So, lots to unpack again on today's episode of Your Extraordinary Life, Chatham Kent. If you need any access to us, there's tons that you can get, as I said, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, listen to the podcast, join our Facebook group. Uh, we'll put the links below to access all of those things or to find us and meet with one of our corrective chiropractors or to meet with one of our expert coaches here at the Fit Club as well. You can hear all the loud banging and, and uh, coaches uh, uh, encouraging members here as uh, there's a group training session on right now. So guys, thank you for joining the Drive to Make Chatham Kent, the healthiest community in Canada, and make it a great day. See you guys.